Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Beyond Horizon. This is Nivi. Today, you are going to learn about short circuit analysis using Big Silent Compact software. And let me go on to the Big Silent software. And here I take the same six bus system. And now let us learn how to do the short circuit analysis. So now, for example, now if I want to, there are there are six buses in the system, and if I want to give short circuit to uh, maybe bus two, this is bus two. So maybe if I want to give short circuit analysis for this particular bus, now I have to click onto the bus and then right click onto it, and then here there is an option called define. And here you can see there are so many options given in this. But now we need to perform short circuit analysis. So I can give short circuit event and give the fault. Okay. But before that, if you want only the values and if you do not want to see the graph, you don't have to initialize the RMS EMP simulations. But then if you want to see the graph as well, you have to initialize them also. So here I just give results for EMT RMS simulation and here I have selected bus 2. So bus 2 is already been here and here if you double click this, you can set what are the parameters you want to see here for short circuit. Okay. So if you want to know the current parameter, yes, already the voltage is defined. If you want to see the current, you can just click on to this and it will be opted here. So give OK and close this. So now, now we need to know, we need to give for what time and what instant we are giving fault and what type of fault. So first I have initialized the RMS EMT simulations because I need to see as a graphical output. But if you want to see the results as as normal as only the data, the current, the short circuit current, etc., that can be seen in the output window without giving uh, without initializing the RMS and EMT simulations. And one more thing is that now we have to give and give give what type of short circuit we are going to perform okay so now in bus 2 i'm clicking this and i'm going to define a short circuit event okay here it asks hours minutes and seconds here i can i am giving a short circuit at five seconds and it is at object which object that is at bus 2 and fault type, it is a three-phase short circuit. So here there are different short circuits, whichever you want to. But here I'm giving a three-phase short circuit. If you have the fault resistance, you can give the fault resistance in the reactant. For now, I'm just giving the three-phase short circuit and give OK. Right? And then, now, this is at the time when there is a fault occurring. Now we need to clear the fault. Okay? So again, right-click. Go to define, okay, and go to short circuit event. And here you can see that fault type. Now you need to clear the short circuit. So you're clearing it and at what second you want to clear. You have given the short circuit at 5 seconds. So for example, if I want to clear the short circuit at 7 seconds. So I give 7 seconds and give OK. Right? So all this happened. And now, first initially we have to run the load flow or calculate the load flow analysis, execute it. So once it is done, you, you see that yes, your load flow conditions is fulfilled. Now you have to go on for the short circuit analysis. For the short circuit analysis, the icon is this lightning symbol. So this is short circuit. So calculate short circuit and here. It is given to be all bus bars if you want you can give and because if you want to see for a particular bus also you can see if you want to see for all you can so here for all bus bars or user selection you can give the particular bus you want to okay from this from the model 
from the network model you can choose which bus actually you want to but then here we selected here I'm not going to give it to the user selection but I want to give it for all the bus bars okay so all the bus bars so all these options are given and then execute it once you execute you can see this line which is the short circuit and to all the buses right so now here you can see the short circuit resistance and I mean the short circuit is calculated and the resistance everything is set and here is the entire report so at bus at line the voltage the rated voltage the voltage the short circuit MVA and short circuit current so everything is given here okay for all the buses so this is all about your short circuit yes now I'm coming to the main point you want to know how to see this graph you want to because when you have to publish your results or when you have to uh, write a paper you need to pub, um, give the short circuit analysis as a graphical representation so in order to do that here what you have to do is that you have to run this initial condition run it and then you have to here you can give it for 20 seconds or 50 seconds however your graph needs to be shown okay and then you give execute so it's getting executed right so these are the values and now if you want to see the graph you have to click it here double click here give all calculations give ok and here double click and you want to see for bus 2 select that and give ok and here what what are the parameters you want to see so here I want to see the magnitude of it so I give ok and here you can choose the color any color you want so I just leave it to be red and give ok and when you click onto this you can see the entire short circuit that is and it is at 5 seconds and it is cleared at 7 seconds so this is how you see your short circuit analysis in the real time or in the graphical representation I hope this video can help you regarding the short circuit analysis of a 6 bus system and similarly you can do it for any buses, any lines etc. Thank you very much for seeing my video and do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much.